When Laura Bush and Hillary Clinton arrived at the White House, they brought with them styles that suited their hometowns in Texas and Arkansas. But their fashions wouldn't have held up in any fashion capital. I think some previous first ladies made some mistakes because they weren't used to actually the world stage, which I think Michelle Obama is already very comfortable in. Um, and the fact that both Hillary Clinton and Laura Bush came from smaller southern towns, they needed to fit in where they were. When Hillary Clinton first did it and she wore this kind of weird hat and the color choice was a little off, she was trying really hard to do what she thought fashion wanted her to do. Um, and it didn't go over so well. Tastemakers have higher hopes for the next first lady, Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama knows about fashion. She knows her body. She's not afraid of color. Um, she's not trendy, so it's not going to be, you know, easy to spot a photo and say, oh, that was 2009. She has kind of a classic style. You know, everyone compares her to Jackie Kennedy, but there's a good reason for that. Obama's already demonstrated her style during the election season. On a very cold day, she made a smart choice and wore, you know, a big coat, but it wasn't, you know, a puffy coat and it wasn't inappropriate for the occasion. We had Dick Cheney, you know, a few years ago wear a big winter ski jacket to a state event because it was cold and it was practical, but she didn't do that. She found a sophisticated coat that was also weather appropriate. On the night that Barack Obama clinched the nomination. She was wearing a purple sheath dress by Maria Pinto, but she put on um, fabulous accessories. She had on a black belt and really made it very modern looking. And on the night she spoke to the Democratic Convention, she also wore a blue Maria Pinto dress. And it wasn't, it wasn't staid, it wasn't boring, it certainly wasn't conservative, it was blue and had some jewels around the collar, but it was perfectly appropriate and why not? On election night, she had kind of a more daring choice. It was a ripped from the runway dress. Um, it was shown in September during Fashion Week. It was mostly a black dress, but it had this like flaming red beading in the middle. And in person, it looked great on the runway. And I don't think it did justice to photographs, though. I think that there was kind of weird shadow from the black on the sides. But she liked it, and I don't think anyone's going to tell her what to wear. Obama's wardrobe track record has the fashion industry excited to see what's coming next. The fashion industry is looking at her really as kind of this microcosm of how people shop, or at least how they hope people shop now and will in the future. She mixes the high and the low. It's what real women do. You know, they will buy one or two investment pieces, and she certainly has shown that. Um, her favorite designer so far has been Maria Pinto, a Chicago-based designer who does very simple and elegant clothing, but they're not cheap. I mean, they can cost several thousands of dollars, but she'll mix it up with J. Crew. She said she shops online, J. Crew late at night. Um, and I bet there might even be, you know, a little Target or something mixed in. Jackie Bashara, the Associated Press.